Chào mừng quý vị đã đến với phần cuối cùng của câu chuyện kinh doanh. Welcome back to our last part of the show. I understand that uh, within the short period of time, within 10 months, you opened two successful locations. Uh, one is at Le Wudong Street. The other one is at uh, Pico Plaza in the Tung Binh District. That's correct. So uh, within 10 months, two big locations is that on track of your business plan. Yes, absolutely. Uh, learning from my experience from Thailand, from uh, Indonesia, and also from uh, Wall Street in China, where we have uh, 70 schools. Uh, my plan is to open uh, 10 schools in five years uh, in Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi and, and possibly Da Nang. Uh, I think probably we can open more schools, but that's my initial uh, goal to okay. open 10 schools in five years 10 schools in five years yes. so it's about two schools per year okay but right now you don't have any uh, location in hanoi yet is that your next market's going to be there yes i again if building from my experience i, I rather have uh, four schools first in Ho Chi Minh, uh, develop my team and only when I have a very strong team, experienced team, uh, because I need to prepare for the future center directors, right. then I will go to Hanoi. So um, in Vietnam, people uh, <coughs> tend to say that um, English teaching is a very low risk business. However, it's very high profit. Hmm. What is your opinion on that? It depends. Uh, how you define low risk and high profit. Uh, I mean, for us, as you can see, we invest a lot in the quality of the people. Uh, so in the quality of our premises, uh, we have to pay royalties to Pearson. So I would say uh, it's a big investment to come to a country. Uh, so I would say uh, not expensive. Uh, no, I think it's it's quite expensive to start a business uh, like Wall Street in any country. Mm -hmm. um, in terms of profitability, uh, again, it depends what you mean profitable. It's a business where you can get margin between, I would say, 10 and 20 percent. 10 to 20 percent. Yeah. That's not pretty high. It's It's a reasonable number. Yeah, it's reasonable. If you want good premises, good employees that you pay well, uh, teachers that you pay well, uh, that, that takes out of your margin. Okay. Well, uh, within the next 10 years, um, what's your forecast on the demand of uh, English learning here in Vietnam? Is it going to be more or going to be less? I think it will be more. Uh, everywhere in the world, you see that English is becoming really the common language. If you want to work on internet, uh, if you want to do search, uh, it's really English. Uh, and I believe you still have a lot of countries where uh, the way English is taught at school is not uh, very efficient. In my country, like France, for right. example, I mean, most students who finish high school cannot speak English with confidence. Okay. Uh, it's the same in Italy, it's the same in, uh, in uh, Germany. Uh, the same in any uh, non-native speaker. Exactly. Yeah. So, so as long as the government do not find a better way to teach English efficiently, uh, I think you will have this market for people who say, hey, uh, where can I go? And, and they'll go to private English language school like, like Wall Street or other schools who specialize on teaching English to kids. Yeah. I mean, in, in Bangkok, for example, people told me, oh, you'll see it's going to settle down. I don't think so. I mean, in 10 years, uh, every year we train 15,000 people. Uh, China, Wall Street keep opening schools. Uh, so for sure, Asia is a big market. Latin America also, Russia, Japan. You still have a lot of countries where uh, many, many people don't speak English with confidence. In Vietnam, is um, uh, Ho Chi Minh City and Hanoi are the um, the most important markets for you. However, uh, in Mekong Delta region, uh, there's also uh, um, the demand of um, learning English there. 
So what is your expanding plan into Mekong Delta region within the next, just say, three years? It's a question of priority. Uh, I would lie if I would say, yes, I'm going to go there in the next three years. First, I need to make sure I have a very strong business in Ho Chi Minh City right. uh, with very good quality. Uh, I mean, the, the challenge in this English language business is to maintain the quality school after school after school. You mm -hmm. need to check, train, monitor, reward. Then do that in Hanoi because it's the second biggest city uh, and move to other smaller cities only when you are ready and when you have the people. Because at the end, what matters is the, the, the center director, the school director and the head teacher. Uh, if you have a very good uh, school director and head teacher, you'll do well. Uh, if you don't, uh, then you cannot provide the service that the students deserve. Mm -hmm. So it's all about uh, finding the right people, training them, and uh, trusting they can uh, do a good job on their own. And if they are in the Mekong Delta on their own, uh, you need special people. If they are here, it's easier for me to go and check and coach and motivate them. And, um Last question I want to ask you is that um, are there any other markets in Southeast Asia after Vietnam? Yeah, the, the big market that is still available is Myanmar. You know, Myanmar, Myanmar. Myanmar is opening uh, at the moment. Uh, and uh, I'm interested in this market. It's a beautiful country. I, I, I went there already with my family on, on vacation. Mm -hmm. uh, and people want, again, to, to, to grow, to learn. Uh, they know that uh, English is important. So I think that's probably the, the next market in Southeast Asia. Uh, Cambodia, Laos are also a potential market, but they are small because the population is very small. Right. So I doubt you can have more than, than one school over there. Okay. So in terms of priority, I would say the next country would be Myanmar. All right. All right. Thank you, Michel. Thank you. Please. Thank you very much for sharing. You're welcome. Thank you. Cảm ơn quý vị đã quan tâm theo dõi cuộc trò chuyện của chúng tôi ngày hôm nay. Hẹn lại quý vị trong câu chuyện kinh doanh lần sau.